why an exporter should never ever i mean ever never register a business name hi fans welcome to another sweet lovely episode on our channel um, and our today's topic is why an exporter should never ever i mean ever never register a business name okay um i've been getting a little, whole lot of questions after i did the last video on trademark and um cac and uh, a whole lot of you have been asking me um debbie um, should I do uh, a limited liability company or should I register a business name? And this is my answer, okay? I know many people want to start small, especially this is my video. I'm more focused on um, small businesses, micro businesses, okay? I know that we all want to start small, but if you really want to go into a sport business, please just close your eye. When I mean close your eye, just close your eye and register a limited liability company and these are my reasons um, initially when you want to register with the CAC in Nigeria you can actually register a business name uh, with um, little money okay I think that is the reason why most people prefer to go for business name rather than um, limited and secondly I hear a lot of people will tell you eh, if I register business name I know they pay big, big tax like a uh, limited liability company they pay okay so these are mostly the two reason people gives you um, they give you um, the reason they give you why they prefer registering a business name but as a formal exporter you cannot afford to do that okay and these are the reason one the nigerian export and promotion council for you to register and get an export license one of the requirements clearly stated that you must have a limited liability company okay it's either you're a government um, agency or you're a cooperative or you have a limited liability company please note that there is nothing like a business name so if you already have a business name you will be required to go and upgrade okay so that is why i don't even advise starter even if you are a micro micro starter or even if you are a nano starter or if, in fact if you are a micro nano starter or a mini micro nano starter whatever I don't advise you to register a business name if you have the intention to export. So first thing, just brace up. The difference may be probably 30,000 Naira. Close your eye, one eye like this, and just register a limited liability company. I've given you one reason. Then the number two reason is if you register a business name, you can never ever get export grants and the reason is not far-fetched if you cannot get an export license it means that you don't have the required or the necessary certificate to apply for an export grant it means you have been cut off i remember when the nigeria export and promotion council they were giving grants the other time i I was in a better position to help more women because I have the in, uh, information at my disposal. But unfortunately, I wanted to help so many women and so many youth, but I discovered that more than 90% of the people that I know um, registered business name. And that was, that was what got me thinking, like, why would people just prefer registering business name? Um, because I remember as a then, I was helping people to get um, limited 1 million share capital for a limited liability company for um, 40,000 Naira. So, and you still see people go and meet agents and pay 15,000 to register business name. So I was just thinking, even if the business name is free, why would people still put themselves at a disadvantaged position? Because at that point, 
For some of them that wanted to upgrade, the timing was already too short. I couldn't help them. So that was how they missed the opportunity. That is the grant that the Nigeria Sport and Promotion Council gave that time. I got the grant. About four people that um, we are close to me got the grant, but every other person um, that have business name, we are unable to get this grant. Okay, so don't put yourself in a disadvantaged position. That is reason number two. Then the reason number three, you cannot get a sports loan. Just like our second point, you cannot get a sport grant, you cannot get a sport loan. So, um, you will agree with me that the body language of the previous government, even the Emilio Khan government, <laughs> and this Jagaban government, you see, everybody wants to export because there is something that export does to um, the national economy, okay? Apart from bringing in foreign um, exchange uh, apart from bringing a foreign currency it boosts the national economy so there is no government of yours that will not encourage export so you see a lot of single digit um, um interest loan for exporters how do you key into this when you have a business name you are already at a disadvantage position so um that is our that is my reason number three then reason number four is it is difficult for you to upgrade okay so maybe you may say um, because I'm just starting I don't have money let me first start you start with a business name but can I shock you do you know that probably when you register a business name you register for 15,000 or 10,000 or maybe if you know how to do it yourself you, you do it for free but when you want to upgrade you have so many things to be done sometimes you'll see, maybe if it's after one year two years you have not paid um, csc annual returns and the rest then you give it to a lawyer or an agent to help you upgrade do you know they will charge you nothing less than fifty thousand naira? so my brother which is wiser is it better to just start and register a one million limited liability company for forty thousand or to go and register a business name first for 10,000, then you now upgrade and pay 40, 60,000. And it's not even the payment that is the issue. You will pay more and it will take your time because at times, one month, they have not been able to rectify the issue. So this is my honest opinion when I say, if you have the long-term plan of exporting, please don't you even dare to even register a business name. Go straight for a limited liability company, okay? And just as a, as a way of recap, I gave my reasons. I said, one, you cannot get a spot loan. Two, you cannot get a spot grant. Three, it is difficult for you to um, upgrade because you spend more money and you spend more time. Four, we said you cannot get um, the export license. And um, fifth, which is the last but not the least, most companies, serious companies and corporations would not want to have business dealing with you as a business name. Okay, reason being that everybody wants a business that is safe. Everybody wants a business that wants a draft contract with. If you, are, if you are not able to deliver, they can sue or be sued. Okay, um, you know, business, when it comes to limited, it is an entity that can be sued or that can sue or be sued. So companies and corporations, um, they prefer dealing more with limited and PLC rather than dealing with business name. Okay, so my fellow exporters and my fellow exporters to be, if you have the vision, if you have the goal, if you have the plan to be an exporter, please, JJ, Biko, MMA, just go and register a limited liability company. Thank you for joining me this afternoon and see you same time next week. Ta-da! <laughs>